Today we're launching a significant set of improvements to the overall user experience of the Plumi Service Console. Now before I jump into that and walk you through all the changes, let's go over what the Plumi Service is. The Plumi Service is the easiest way to use Plumi's open source Universal Infrastructure as Code SDK at scale. As it's a fully managed service, it provides teams and orgs with secure state and secrets management, increases developer velocity and collaboration through dashboards and tooling integrations, and enables admins to set guardrails and access controls. Now let's dive into it. I'm signing in via SSO, because that's what my organization uses. Once I sign in, I'm gonna land on my individual org page. This gives me kind of just like a quick, where do I start summary, but I'm gonna jump straight to my organization dashboard. And here you can see that we've added a new summary of member count, total stacks and total resources, and how those have changed over the week. You can see your latest stack updates, what's been changed recently, any commit message if it's associated, and you can jump directly to the details of that update. Now we've added a new feature called favorite stacks in which you can star any of your stacks and quickly access them from the dashboard or from the new left side navigation. We have a new members card which summarizes which members have recently joined your org as well as if there's any pending invites. As you can see on the left side, we've added this new navigation bar which allows you to quickly jump from your favorite stacks to any of your settings or features like policies. Now, favorite stacks in an organization are specific to you. So these are the stacks that you find most relevant and your teammates may have entirely different favorites. Now, if we wanna walk through a specific stack, we can jump to it from anywhere on my favorite stacks or on the dashboard. I can see its recent activity, uh, when it's been updated and by who. I can see a list of the resources that are inside this stack and I can search through them to find what I'm looking for specifically. Where relevant, I can jump directly to the Cloud Console for that resource. And lastly, I can view a graph of how all these resources relate to each other. Now, if I'm on the enterprise, oh, and one last thing, if I want to set up CICD for this stack, I can jump into our CICD assistant, which is in the settings of the stack. Now here you'll find, you can choose from any of these CI CD providers and set up the connection to that repo. If I'm on enterprise or business critical uh, Pulumi service edition, I have access to policy as code. Now policy as code empowers you to set guardrails so that your developers can work within an organization while sticking to your best practices and security compliance. I can also look through my audit logs of my organization. As you can see, I've logged in quite a few times doing this demo, but I've also created a team token and I can see that activity on the audit log. Now this has just been a high level summary of some of the changes and the key features of the Plumi Service Console. We hope you continue to give us feedback on your experience using it and that you enjoy the changes we've made based on user feedback.